Baldwin County, Spanish Fort has prosecuted the first case under the new littering ordinance, which was passed in October. It allows surveillance video evidence to be used against defendants. Yeah, city leaders are hoping this will cut back on the illegal dumping, especially at their recycling drop off. But when Fox and News Hal Sherritt visited that drop off today, he discovered there's still a lot of stuff and some of it hazardous, not making it into the receptacle. Stacked behind the dumpsters at Spanish Fort's recycling drop point on Ember Lane is a huge stack of debris, including metal tents, a ceiling fan, paint buckets, and oil containers. Not only are these items not allowed in the recycling bins, but some of them could also potentially be toxic. This is exactly the type of activity that prompted the city to crack down on offenders. People were just going to dump. They were just going to throw things out there, and not only recycling, but using it as a dump also. So we took actions by installing video cameras and cameras out there. So now with the new ordinance that was passed in October, we are able to use the evidence from that to prosecute. Spanish Fort residents who use the recycling yard say they're not surprised the city has had to step up enforcement here. No, no, not at all. I'm glad they did something. Um, that, you know, it helps people remember, yeah, you got to take pride in your in your city. You shouldn't be dumping stuff like that in a, in a public facility like this. It just makes it makes it look bad. Uh, it's potentially dangerous if they're dropping off paint cans or some hazardous material. There are plenty of notices around the facility as a reminder of what's allowed and that those using the drop off are being recorded on camera. Spanish Fort Mayor Mike McMillan says the problem goes beyond folks dumping non recyclables. We've got seven dumpsters out there. Five of them are empty daily. Two of them are empty twice a week because of the big ones. And the problem is, you know, at recycling, they don't break down the boxes. If you break down the boxes, there'll be plenty of room for everybody. But then when they don't break down the boxes, they overflow and then people start throwing them on the ground. And there was our Hal Sherrick reporting. Now, Hal also told us that what that would constitute littering and could get a hefty fine. This started $100. They could go up with each offense. Now, Mayor McMillan also telling Hal that last night's case resulted in a $100 plus fine plus court costs because that person had been caught on camera leaving a mattress by the dumpsters.